What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about the best FOV for console players. There's a few things you need to take into consideration when deciding what FOV you want to be playing on. If you are a console player, before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now I play on PS5 and as you can see here, my field of view is 97. Now some of this is going to be a little bit of personal preference. You may like it a little bit lower or a little bit higher, but I would say anywhere from 90 to 120 is really what you're kind of looking at when it comes to the best FOV. Now the first thing you need to take into consideration is what you're playing on. Are you playing on a monitor? What size is that monitor? Or are you playing on a TV and what size is that TV? Now I have a two monitor setup. I sit at a desk. Uh, one is for playing, one is for doing my recording. And of course this monitor I play on is 24 inches. So I'm about a foot away from my monitor. So that is why I play on a smaller field of view. I think if you play on a smaller screen, I'm going to say 24 to around a 27 inch. Anything around a 90 to 105 is probably going to be the sweet spot for you because you don't want to have too much of a field of view to where you're having to, you know, kind of almost move your head left or right to be able to pick up everything on the screen. Now, if you're playing on a larger monitor, larger than 27 inches, you probably can go anywhere between 105 to 120. I would say still probably the sweet spot's going to be about 110 to 115. I feel like 120 on console, at least on PS5, and I think. It's probably going to carry over to PS, uh, the Xbox as well. I've heard a lot of people talking about this on Xbox. 120 just feels a little bit off. It does not feel like it works correctly or as good. It's not as smooth as it is maybe on like uh, if you're playing on PC. Now, when it comes to playing on a TV, uh, my recommendation would be if you're playing on a large TV, something like you know 40 inches, 55, 65, you probably could run it up to 120 because you have such a large screen you're looking at anyway you're probably sitting back on the couch in a recliner i think 120 would probably be fine for that if you're you know for example playing on maybe a smaller tv at a desk i would probably go back with that same kind of example that i gave you to begin with with the uh, the monitors if you're playing on maybe a 32 inch tv at a desk or something like that probably keep it between 100 and 110 uh, 115 at the most so my only recommendation really for running 120 if you are on consoles, if you're playing on a large TV, you're sitting back on the couch. If you want to have a better experience, at least from my experiences playing and changing FOVs, like I said, playing on a smaller monitor, uh, I feel like anything from 90 to about 105 is going to be your best bet. And if you're playing on a large screen, anything from about 105 to up to 120, you know, you can go with that. I just feel like if you're on a smaller screen, anything really above 105 is not really optimal. It just does not feel like it works as well as maybe as it would, like I said, on a PC if you're playing on Xbox or PS5. Now, the only other thing that will affect this sum is, of course, going to be what you play in. Is your field of view affected? Um, now, if you play in affected, of course, that's going to give your zoom value closer to the field of view settings. If you play in independent, that, of course, is going to be the field of view uh, is set to, you know, just that normal value, which is going to be, if we look here um, at, uh, you know, like at our um, different sizes your screen can be, that's going to be around a 60 frames uh, or, you know, 60 FOV, excuse me. And that's pretty small. I mean, 60 FOV is going to be um, a pretty tight, as you can see here on the screen, it's a pretty tight screen. So when you're using independent UADS, you're going to have that really tight view. Some people like that because it makes uh, you have a little bit more zoom on targets at a distance. Uh, the only thing that you will notice with that, of course, is going to be gun recoil. Now, all of us, if you've played Call of Duty for a long time, are used to, uh, you know, maybe that independent view because it's how COD used to be back in the day before there was an FOV setting. Personally, I prefer to have mine on affected that way, if I'm playing at 97, it's still going to look around to 97 when I zoom in, uh, you know, when I zoom in. And plus, it seems like it helps a lot. The larger your field of view is and being on affected helps with that visual recoil that you see. Now, when it comes to weapon field of view, I prefer to run mine on wide. Right now, it is bugged out, so I'm running it on default. So if you're having that you know, kind of field of view bug, change yours to default. But just keep in mind, running affected and independent can also kind of affect how your field of view is going to look. So take that into consideration. But anyway, guys, I kind of hope this helps you out some when trying to decide what you know field of view you need to be running on console. But I definitely would recommend bumping it up to 90. If you're playing on anything lower than 90, bump it up to 90 and then kind of go from there. 
uh, and it will improve your gameplay. Of course, let me know uh, what you're playing on. Let me know, you know, what platform you play on, you know, what your field of view you're using is. And let me know how you're enjoying Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.